Roger Federer is a Swiss former professional tennis player. He was born on 8th of August 1981 in Basel, Switzerland. He was ranked world number one by the Association of Tennis Professionals for 310 weeks, including a record 237 consecutive weeks, and finished as a year-end number one five times. You always want to win. That is why you play tennis because you love the sport and try to be the best you can at it, Roger said. And he sure did follow that quote throughout his career. Many of his accomplishments are known worldwide, but in this video, we'll be targeting 15 things you didn't know about Roger Federer. Number 7 and 11 will shock you, so stay tuned to the end of the video. Let's get started. Number 1. Could Roger have been a professional football player? When he was young, Roger played both tennis and football. This may come as a surprise, but he was also an excellent football player. Who are we kidding? That's not a surprise. At the age of 12, Roger decided to put his entire focus into tennis, so he stopped playing football. Imagine Roger competing Messi and Ronaldo for Ballon d'Ors. That would have been something. Number 2. Roger's face on a postal stamp and Swiss coin In 2007, the Swiss Post in Basel, Switzerland released a special edition stamp for Federer. He was the first living Swiss person to be featured on a Swiss stamp. The picture on the stamp was of him holding the first Wimbledon trophy. Later, in 2010, Roger Federer was awarded a special edition stamp by Austria's Postal Service. In December of 2019, Federer became the first living person to be the face of Swiss coins. In May 2020, his face was on the 20 franc coin and the Swiss Mint issued a Federer 50 franc gold coin featuring a different design. A 20 franc coin is valued at $381 as of 2022. Not too shabby, eh? Number 3. Roger and Mirka Meeting It is reported that Federer met his first wife, Miroslava Mirka Vavrinik, then 21, at the Sydney 2000 Olympics Games when he was just a little bit over the age of 18. Both Federer and Mirka had represented Switzerland at the Games, and although Federer lost the third place match, he had already done enough to win Mirka's heart. In an interview with CNN, Federer said, We spent two weeks together in those dorms. We were together with the wrestlers and all the other cool athletes. I guess over the two weeks, we built up some chemistry. A wrestler said, hey, kiss her now. And I'm like, no, I don't know. Maybe, should I? So anyway, I did. She told me I was so young when she kissed me. I tried to tell her I was almost 18 and a half. I tried to sneak in a quarter year. In 2002, the pair played mixed doubles together at the Hopman Cup. Unfortunately, for Mirka, a foot injury ended her career shortly after. She would then focus all her time to help Federer become the player and person he is today. The couple have four kids together, two twin girls, Myla, Rose, and Charlene, and two twin boys, Leo and Leonard. Number 4. Federer's Coming of Age While Federer is known for playing with humility, professionalism, and calmness, it wasn't always so. Most fans don't know that teenage Federer was, like most adolescents, a bit more hot-headed. David Law, a former ATP communications manager, discussed in an interview with Harold's son how 16-year-old Federer used to break down and throw his racket during matches. At the age of 21, Federer received a heartbreaking wake-up call when his former coach, Peter Carter, died in a car accident in 2002. According to David Law, the event devastated Federer and made Federer grow up incredibly quickly, because I don't think he ever had to think about mortality before. It stopped him in his tracks, and it caused him problems for a long time in terms of dealing with it, dealing with the grief. To say that from that point forward, Federer was a more level-headed, focused player is an understatement. He won Wimbledon in 2003 before capturing three Grand Slams the following year. Number 5. Roger's Injury-Riddled 2013 Season Federer endured an injury-riddled 2013 season, and in 2014, he reached just one Grand Slam final, a loss at Wimbledon to Novak Djokovic. He did still manage a career highlight that year by leading Switzerland to its first-ever Davis Cup victory. In 2015, he appeared in the Wimbledon and U.S. Open finals but lost to Djokovic both times. Shortly after losing in the Wimbledon semifinals in July of 2016, he withdrew from the remainder of that tennis season because of a persistent knee injury. Number 6. Roger and His Piano Apart from his encore excellence with his tennis racket, the Swiss legend Roger Federer is a gifted pianist and plays the flute. He was trained to play the piano as a child and played the flute during the Lucerne Festival. Along with his proficiency in instrumental music, the tennis champion also sings. Like everyone else, they have their personal favorite music artists. Federer claims ACDC to be his personal favorite. Also, when he was young, he was fond of the music by Queen, Michael Jackson, and Roxette. At a press conference, Federer revealed his connections with music during his days on the junior circuit. When I was going to the junior events with my parents, you listened to what your parents put on the cassette in the car. Then later, it was all the DJs coming up, and then it was rock through Peter Lundgren, my coach, who did all the ACDC and Metallica and all that stuff. Now I just go with the flow, he mentioned. Number 7. 
Federer excuse of military service due to back problems. It is compulsory for all Swiss citizens to complete a year of military service for their country. In 2003, having already been a pro tennis player for five years, he was selected for the draft. However, he was deemed unfit due to back problems. Instead, he had to contribute 3% of his taxable income to the Swiss government. Many criticized the decision at the time, saying Federer was given special treatment. The argument was that the man of Federer's athletic prowess surely couldn't be so physically impaired. However, 35% of all Swiss citizens are excused from military service because they are also deemed unfit. The Swiss hold their army in high regard, and they also have great respect for medical health care as well. Every young man is given a rigorous health check before being drafted into the army. Furthermore, soldiers are required to carry heavy packs on their back for long marches, which creates a strain that is far different from anything experienced while playing tennis. Number 8. Roger's Love of His Rolex Roger isn't just an ambassador for Rolex because of the money, but he actually loves the watches. Both on and off the court, Federer's one true consistent, other than his wife, Marka, has been the fact that he always sported a Rolex. Who are we to question the great man? Number 9. Federer's Honorary Doctor's Degree In the year 2017, the University of Basel rewarded Roger Federer a doctor's degree. Roger provides financial assistance to poor children in South Africa for better education and progress in sports. He was also honored by the University of Basel for his outstanding contribution to the field of education. Number 10. Roger's Vegan Years Roger Federer was vegan until the age of 14. However, soon after he found great interest and taste in non-vegetarian food. He is also a great cook, far more perfect for cooking skills. Roger is a very big fan of pasta, and he knows how to cook it with perfection as his favorite pasta dish is spaghetti napoletana. Number 11. Roger Speaks Five Languages Roger is a hugely talented individual not just on the court but off the court too. He is fluent in five languages. He can speak German, French, and English perfectly. Apart from this, he is also able to speak Italian and Sweden. Number 12. What is so special about Roger Federer? In his prime, his flair and creativity were phenomenal, while his movement is economical, in that he doesn't run as far or as much as his rivals. His single-handed backhand is poetry, a thing of beauty, an all-time classic. Every aspect of his game is executed effortlessly with much style and grace. Number 13. Roger's Ball Boy Days Federer worked as a ball boy in 1992 and 1993. His first event was at the Swiss Indoor Championships near his hometown of Fossil. Fun fact, if you search on YouTube, it's possible to find the 12-year-old Roger Federer running around collecting balls for his idols at the time. Stefan Edberg won the 1993 tournament, someone whom Federer has always praised as a role model. Number 14. Federer's Charitable Foundation That Helps Children in Switzerland and South Africa the foundation wishes to enable as many children as possible to take control of their future and to actively shape it. In many countries in the world, countless children have no access to education or sport, or the poor quality of the existing offers prevents the children from getting a fair chance to exercise self-determination. For this reason, the Roger Federer's Foundation promotes access to education, sports, and play, and improves quality where there is little or no funds available. The Roger Federer Foundation was founded in 2003 and has projects located in South Africa and Switzerland. The projects on the African continent focus on the improvement of the quality of early learning and basic education, in Switzerland on the promotion of young sports talents. All activities are realized and implemented by local or at least regional non-governmental organizations with best references. The foundation works with carefully selected local organizations and long-term partnerships. It supports the development of individual skills, searches for innovative possible solutions, and acts in a targeted way in order to improve the children's situation over the long term. The involvement is concentrated on several chosen countries. The Roger Federer Foundation ensures that the population in question assumes joint responsibility for the solution of its problems with regard to the contents, organization, and finances. The children, their families, and their communities should contribute their suggestions in both the required analytics and the development of innovative possible solutions and actively cooperate in the implementation. Number 15. Federer's Last Dance after losing in the semifinals at the 2020 Australian Open, Federer had two knee surgeries that caused him to miss the rest of the season. Although he returned in 2021, his play was limited. However, he did compete at Wimbledon, where he lost in straight sets in the quarterfinals. That proved to be his last Grand Slam event. Federer was again sidelined by knee problems, and in September of 2022, he announced that he would be retiring after the Labor Cup. Later that month, he played in his final competitive match, a doubles event in which he paired with Nadal. Sadly, they lost. Federer has had a truly amazing career. People might argue that he is the GOAT of tennis. Is he your GOAT? 
let us know in the comments. And if you like these type of videos, click the subscribe button to stay notified on all our latest uploads. See you in the next one.